Hello and welcome guys and welcome to the first edition of 5 Reason Friday where I break down the 5 reasons why you should or in some cases should not read certain books. In today's episode, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Let's get started. Reason 1. Introductory. Before reading this book, many readers, including myself, might think to yourself, oh my god, astrophysics, I know nothing about astrophysics, like what is it about? But this book does a really great job in introducing yourself to different topics, making you feel somewhat comfortable with what Tyson is saying, and that's what's great about this book. Astrophysics alone would scare many people before even picking up the book, but fear not potential readers because this book answers that question. Tyson does a great job in simplifying really complex topics for both people who are beginners and people who know a bit more about the topic. In particular, he introduces really complex topics such as dark matter. I mean, in the instance of dark matter, it's really interesting to see how many scientists don't know its actual form or what it actually looks like. All they know is its impact in the wider universe. And this book is full of new concepts and it's really progressive when it comes to introducing new topics. And for those reasons, it makes it a great introductory read. Reason two, informative. Tyson breaks down really complex and highly intelligent astrophysical concepts for the reader to digest. The book covers a wide range of topics from the formation of the universe to looking about its impact to the millisecond just after the Big Bang. It looks at the formation of galaxies, of dark matter, of invisible light and even multiverse theory. As a beginner for astrophysical concepts, I thought the book does a great job in introducing new concepts whilst not going into too much depth as to confuse the reader. So this book does a great job in informing the reader whilst not making them feel overwhelmed. Reason three, thought provoking. Throughout the book, Tyson introduces highly conceptual and intelligent astrophysical concepts and they are really thought provoking. It makes you question your existence. It makes you question everything around you, the universe, the stars, everything around you from from the air to you know science in general multiverse theories is a really really interesting concept because it looks at how our universe is attached or embedded into another universe and our universe could be attached or embedded to another one and that could happen multiple times uh, that's not actually in a concrete fact when it comes to science scientists don't know about it but it's more a theoretical concept and this is what the book does in a great way it makes you question theoretical topics it makes you question science it makes you wonder whether this is actually true and whether this is actually happening in the universe around you and these kind of thoughts and ideas is what really gets your mind working and it's what gets your intellectual juices flowing really reason four historical so not only does the book introduce really cool astrophysical concepts but it also introduces some of the history surrounding to it so for instance he mentions the history of isaac newton the history of albert einstein and the impact that they've had on science and physics in particular but what i loved really is he talked about how impactful newton was early on in his life at such a young age uh, coming up with gravitational force uh, and calculus but how centuries later albert einstein was able to take those initial theories and bring them into the modern world i believe the pairing of theoretical concepts with historical context is what sets this book apart reason five progressive why do i think this book's progressive for for many reasons this is one of the only books I've read where it's able to embed that physics knowledge with context, historical context, and do it in such a simplistic and introductory way. From reading Tyson's articles, I found that he makes a point in his interviews and articles that science should be more available to everyone. So this knowledge shouldn't just be for the top physicists in the world or the top astrophysicists in the world. It should be available to everyone even if it's just at an introductory level. And I felt like this book was really progressive because I don't think any other scientist out there is doing this. They're not taking that knowledge that they have and passing it on to the general public. And I really appreciate him writing this book because I'm interested in that area. I'm interested in, in astrophysics. I'm interested in learning more. I was overwhelmed if I was to pick up a textbook about it. But here, it's nice to have a digestible... I mean, the book's not long. I mean, it's not, it's not a thick textbook, but it's a small book. But it's full of such great information for you as an introductory read to just go pick up one, read about it in here and then do some more research, do your own research, listen to some of Tyson's videos or his, his podcast. He does a great podcast called Star Talk. 
I really hope more scientists follow this trend because I think it's really important to get everyone involved in science and just continue their knowledge and learning more. That's it for this episode of Five Reason Friday. I've been your host, Orn Abdi. Let me know in the comments what you think of Five Reason Friday, whether it's a good idea. And also let me know if you've read the book by Neil deGrasse Tyson. If you haven't picked up a copy, I recommend you get yourself a copy because it's a great read. On my one minute book review, which I'll link in the description as well, I rated this book five stars. Five Reason Friday, five stars. Until next time, guys. Thanks for listening.